My numbering system is all screwed up. It's all Slick's fault. Video 3, Part 3, Catapult Pancakes. Quote, Everything that was brought into existence was caused to exist. End quote. Wait, stop. You said you were going to be using logic, not the Kalam. Please, don't make me re 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 analyze the Kalam again. No, no, you're, you're, you're gonna do that. Uh, it's not logic. Why, lobster original deity? Why? So, no. In logic, when you use the word everything, you gotta, like, support it with, you know, a ton of evidence and other premises and such, you know. But you offer none of that. I thought you said earlier that we don't know everything, so how can you know that everything was brought into existence was caused? And why the strange wording of brought into anyway? I mean, it's like you're trying to load the question. What about quantum physics stuff? No, no you're not even going to mention that. <laughs> uh, moving on. Quote, can you have an infinite regress of causes? No, since to get to now, you'd have to traverse an infinite amount of time to get to now. End quote. No, because of a lot of reasons. First and foremost, we don't know how infinity would or wouldn't work. And by infinity, they actually mean true infinity, which could be called eternity to save some equivocation problems and natural language problems. I've drawn us a chart to explain my outlook on infinity from their outlook of infinity. I know it's complicated, but play along. Okay, so we have the universe beginning, if it began, at some point in time. Before that was just stuff. Let's just say energy existed before then, just for the sake of argument. And then there's me, and then eventually catapult pancakes are invented, and then time continues to go on. Time is constantly moving through this line. It doesn't matter how long it takes before we get to the universe. From the universe's perspective, even though the universe doesn't have a perspective, it took no time at all because the universe didn't exist yet. From my perspective, everything that came before me was instant because I didn't exist yet. That time was irrelevant to me. It didn't matter how long it took to get to me. Once I was there, then I was like, oh, hey, you know, it sure took a while for me to exist. What the apologists are trying to do, besides equivocation on infinity and true infinity with this, is to add more length between the time and the time. So here's how that works, or doesn't work. So in essence, what they're saying is the universe that they are claiming has a beginning, and it might, I don't even know if that's the proper wording, but nonetheless, didn't exist. Before then was, who knows, whatever, energy, something, I don't know. Time is moving. You saw time move there. But it can't get to the universe because there's all this infinite for it to traverse. So it can never get to the universe. But you'll notice that that's not how it would work. Okay? Look at this. This is a normal timeline. And I say normal because it's not... Nobody would put catapult pancakes but me on a timeline. Well, maybe you will now, but at any rate. Okay, so... The infinity symbols are pointing either way. They're not pointing at the line itself. The line isn't infinite. It's really hard to explain this. What they're doing is adding an infinity to the amount of time that it would take for time to get to what we call the present. And that's not how it works. It's however long it is. Let's just say it's a billion eons. It's a long, long time. It's longer than I can think of in my brain, but it's a lot. 
That's still a time. That's still a finite amount of time. The fact that it took that long is irrelevant. What they're saying is, oh, but they it has an infinity to traverse before it gets to now. Sure, but that infinity still is an amount of time. You could still quantify it, but it has been going on forever. Yes, but you also had time moving forward throughout that period. Or if time didn't exist, then you simply have what amounts to a timeless state that can that has no way to quantify how quote long it's been there end quote that that wasn't a quote from the the web page I uh, bleep anyway so it has no way to quantify that so it simply exists and then all of a sudden bam universe and time exists it doesn't matter anything else doesn't matter because it literally has no way to quantify it. It takes no time at all, since time doesn't even exist, to get from that forever to now. So, in essence, what I'm saying is, their idea of infinity is all screwed up. Now, granted, my idea of infinity might be all screwed up too. I'm no mathematician. I'm no expert on infinity. And I would go as far to say, I don't think anyone really could adequately tell us what infinity was, at least regarding an actual real infinity. Now, regarding our construct infinity, sure, someone can explain that far better than I can. But what I'm referring to is if there is a real infinity out there somewhere. We haven't observed that, and we could never observe that, because it would just stretch on and on and on into the horizon. And we would forever not know if it was forever. Taking these concepts that are just that, and toying with them as if they are real, and then asking anyone questions about them is an irrelevant question. It is a malformed question. You can't answer it because it's not even a thing. And if it was a thing, I don't even know that we could really properly understand it. But maybe we could. Maybe we could reduce it to a mathematical concept. But we're not there yet. So don't act like we are. But of course, the apologist acts like they know everything because they feel that they do know everything because everything that they know is written in a book, even though none of these concepts come from the Bible. Where does it talk about infinity in the Bible? From the word infinity. Oh, well, the concept's in there. Eternity is in there. I'll give you that. Is infinity? And does it explain eternity? One final point. If infinity can't be a thing, then it can never be a thing. Quote, But it's impossible to cross an infinite. Furthermore, without a first cause, there cannot be a second, third, etc. So it seems that there must have been a single uncaused cause. End quote. Maybe, but maybe not. Inductive reasoning has its limits. We're often surprised by what reality is really like. Logic has limits, you know? You know? No, you don't know. I know you don't know. You know. You, my viewers, know. They don't know. That's what I'm saying. Quote, Why can't that be God who has always existed and never was caused to come into existence? End quote. Because you said infinity wasn't a thing, so therefore, if God has always existed, it could never get to now because it has to traverse an infinity, and it can't do that. Oh, right, right. We're not, we're not using 
logic anymore. You're, you've used a special pleading for God. It's allowed to do that. But, uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, right, right. So, infinity either can work for all things or it can't, but then it can because God and blah, 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 blah. So, it can't be God because, as all good lobsters know, it was Laud, lobster original deity. That, that was simple. Uh, all right. So, uh, I'm done. Yep. Answer their question. What do you mean I didn't answer their question? What? What do you want from me? You can't answer that question. Why can't it be a wizard that did it? We don't know what did it or didn't do it. That's why it can't be anything. We don't know. Why can't the answer be we don't know? And, oh my word, you won't believe this, but empirical evidence will beat out the fact that you don't want to believe this. I have found a paragraph that I agree with. <laughs> Quote, Examples of logical absolutes are something is what it is and not what it is not, law of identity. A statement cannot be both true and false at the same time and in the same sense, law of non-contradiction. A statement is either true or false, law of excluded middle. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C, law of proper inference. End quote. Actually, the whole if A, then B, if B, then C, that's a hypothetical syllogism. If, 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 but then but then you said if once, and then you didn't say if again, so I don't know about that. I'm going to have to look that up to make sure. The thing is, it's like all tainted with Matt Slick's taint of taintness. I, I just don't trust it. The other things look right, but I I don't know, man. It's hard to trust it because it's written with all this other stuff around it. any rate, so the next video will be mental breakdown because I'm going to have a mental breakdown in that video. I, I know that that will happen not only because I'm naming it that and but also because I've read the page and I know what's coming. <laughs> and you all enjoy it, don't you? You enjoy me, like, having these mental breakdowns. Like, Deacon Ferdinand's gonna, like, turn into, like, a ballerina in this video. And, and be a shoo-shoo train that says quack. That should be fun. <laughs> ah, man. I have some weird subscribers. But I love you all. I do, even though you're weird, because I'm weird, and it's okay to be weird. But what's weird, you know, let me muss a little bit here. You can stop the video if you want, but then you won't hear any of this. I have, like, a thousand-something subscribers, but, like, I'll get, like, you know, 300 views to a video. But then, like, I only get maybe 14 comments. And sometimes I'll get more, but they'll be, like, the same people... And I wish it would be, like, it, it could tell me, like, different things. Like, if YouTube was, like, how I wanted it, rather than how they want me to want it, I could, like, have customization where I would be, like, show me who watched this video. That would be really neat. So, like, it would remember, if you were logged into YouTube, it would say your name. If you weren't, it would say anonymous person, okay? But then, it, so I would know who watched it. And it would also tell me how many times they watched it. That would be cool. So it would be like, okay, you have, say, 300 views in total. But you have 400 views because 100 of those people watched it twice for whatever reason. Oh, cool. That's really neat. You know, and then it would be like, you have, like, say, 20 comments in total but actually, you only have five comments because somebody just kept posting over and over again. And also, it wouldn't count my posts as part of the uh, thing if I wanted it to. So I could separate it further. That would be really cool. You know? But no. YouTube doesn't want to do any of that. Instead, what they do is they move my inbox again. So now... There is no inbox, even though there's still an inbox. Now it's just called messages. So, 
in case you don't know, you click like the right top of where your icon is. You click Creator Studio. Then you click uh, freaking, I think it's Video Manager. And then like it says Community somewhere on there. Or maybe it's, I don't know now. But you click, I think it's Community and it says Messages. So private messages now get delivered there. And your old inbox is still there. So you can click Inbox just to make sure you don't have any old messages that you didn't read. But now all the new ones are getting sent to the messages. But I don't like that because I feel like they're all exposed. They don't have their own little box to live in. So, like, the messages can see each other, man. They're all exposed in the open. That's not cool. Give me back my inbox. What was wrong with my inbox? Why do you keep taking away things that I like? And giving me bells. Why is it a bell? What? Why? Can it? I. What if I don't want a bell? Can I change it? What if I want it to be like a little happy face or or a Shithulu or something? Why can't I customize it? Why? S YouTube. Anyway. Oh, you're you're still here. I I'm done with the video. Really, I, I am. Thanks for listening, though. Post your stuff if you want. Or don't. If you don't, at least rate. That would be cool, too. Like, see who rated and who didn't rate. Like, who gave me the negative thumb so I could stalk them and kill... I mean, um, kiss... Kiss them. And then... And then